The scholar remembers his native dialect. Nobody in the village Kamalkund had ever been to any school, and to complete a course in scriptures at Varanasi was beyond their wildest dream. But that is what young Jivanendra had done. He belonged to a neighboring village, and he was coming to Kamalkund to visit his maternal uncles. Many were eager to meet the scholar fresh from Varanasi. It was the weekly market day, and while selling and buying of grocery, vegetable, pottery, sweets, etc., were going on in full swing. Those who knew about Jivanendra's impending visit were looking towards the road again and again. At last, Jivanendra was seen approaching the village a little before sunset. He wore a creamy silk dhoti and a long shirt of dazzling orange color. His well-cut beard matched his turban. He looked more like a bridegroom than a scholar. With a benign smile, he blessed those who bowed to him, placing his right palm on their heads. At the same time, he muttered some Sanskrit hymns, which nobody understood but everybody appreciated because the feet spoke of his learning. To meet a learned man or to be familiar with him or to exchange a few words with him was an opportunity after all. But those simple folks did not know what to do when he began speaking to them, for he spoke in Sanskrit. His listeners looked shocked. After a while, one of them made bold to remind him that he was speaking to an illiterate lot and that he should be kind enough to speak the language they understood. He nodded kindly and spoke in their language, but the language was such high flown that again his words fell on deaf ears. However, they could make out this much. Having lived in the middle of great pundits for five long years, he found it difficult to speak like an ordinary man. Some people in the audience were beginning to grow skeptic. Was a period of five years enough to make one forget the language or dialect of one's nativity? A few yards away from the spot where the young scholar stood, some people were enjoying fight between two rams. Suddenly, one of the fighting rams was attracted towards the scholar. Probably, his dazzling robe provoked it to challenge him instead of the other ram for a change. It headed towards him and taking position in front of him, lowered its head preparing to charge at him. But the young scholar, accustomed to bless any head that bowed to him, raised his right hand as a necessary gesture. Even though some anxious voices cautioned him to move aside, he did not pay heed to them and the next moment the ram gave him a lusty whack. Falling flat, the scholar now instantly started abusing the animal in a dialect that everybody understood without the least difficulty. By the time he stood up and grew conscious that he had deviated from his form, it was too late. We are sorry that the naughty ram did not know how to behave with you. But we are also happy that you have not forgotten your native tongue altogether, commented a witty man with a twinkle in his eyes. Please like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Do provide your feedback in the comment section below. Thanks for listening.